Hello everyone, what's going on? Boxing Enigma here, and hopefully you there. Uh, we're about to tackle the NFL's Week 11 picks against the spread. We're taking on the spread one-on-one. -on -one. Last week the spread got a little bit of an advantage over me. I went 2-4, and four, my first losing week since week 2, the very first week that I did this. And so we got to bounce back. we got to come back bigger and better than ever. And we're going to start with tonight's game. The Chicago Bears heading into Miami to take on the Miami Dolphins. And I've heard a lot about how disappointed the Bears have been this year. Jay Cutler's throwing a whole bunch of picks again. Will he ever be that superstar quarterback? Lovey Smith, maybe it's time for him to go. Maybe he doesn't have anything left in the tank. The defense is getting older. And all I have to say to that is that all of it is nonsense. The team finds a way to win each and every week. They're sitting atop the NFC North, with head-to-head -head victories over each and every one of those teams in that same division. Uh, they're 6-3. and three. They're a better, They have a better record than Miami. Miami has a third-string quarterback, albeit a good one, in Tyler Thigpen. But you've got to go against the third-string quarterback, especially also when you got Long injured and you got Marshall a little banged up as well. I like Chicago to go head into Miami and find a way to win this game. They're at 1.5 underdogs. I'm pretty sure it'll be a pick em by game time, even though game time's only in four hours. I really do think that spread's going to drop. So I jump on it now, immediately after I put this up. Miami Dolphins, Chicago Bears, Bears by one and a half dogs. That's my pick for tonight's game. Moving right along to Sunday. We might flip-flop a little bit before today and Sunday, but let's focus here. Let's get our picks in for Sunday. Number one, I have no idea how this is not a bigger spread. Atlanta Falcons have proved to be the best team in the NFC. Come out last week, down by a point, come back with a minute left to beat Baltimore. Even though you're going on the road to a desperate St. Louis Rams team, I don't think the Rams have enough. I like the Rams. They're a spunky bunch, but I don't think they have enough. Therefore, uh, Falcons by three. I think it could be a lot more than three. I think the Falcons are your best bet this week. Falcons by three over St. Louis. Um, and the Falcons have proved to be absolutely for real. They have weapons all over the place. Matt Ryan's really coming into his own, and that defense is sick. So that's the team I'm picking uh, with my first pick. Secondly... I typically hate to pick the big spreads. I typically also hate to pick the road teams, despite the fact that I do it so much. My record should probably speak for itself there. But Baltimore, favored by 10 over Carolina. Jump all over this. This should be ugly, folks. Baltimore is going to be pissed off after losing last week a heartbreaker in Atlanta. I think they're a much better team than Carolina, and Carolina has both Clawson and Matt Moore out, as well as both the running backs. So Tony Pike and a bunch of I don't even know who's are going to be coming in there and trying their best with a very angry Baltimore bunch. Baltimore by 10. Take it. It's a good pick. Uh, as far as uh, the third pick's concerned, there's a couple games to look at. I like Tampa Bay, especially Raheem Morris. Hofstra grad here. Love him. think they'll be, I don't know why they're underdogs, by 3.5 to San Francisco. I also don't understand why Seattle's such big underdogs to, to New Orleans, especially with Matt Hasselbeck playing. With those two both being said, neither of those is my pick. My pick this week, I've been picking Brett Favre each and every week. Each and every week I come on here and I, oh, the gunslinger, he still has a little left in the tank. He has a little magic, you gotta believe. And finally, I'm done. I'm finished with the Brett Favre nonsense. It's too much this season, I'm tired of it. Green Bay's gonna go into that building, smack around the Vikings, end their season. My third pick, Green Bay by three. It could be Green Bay by six. I'd probably still give Green Bay the advantage. Green Bay coming off a bye, we'll head into Minnesota, and I do believe Brett Favre's season will be ended this week by his old team, the Green Bay Packers, by three. Take that as your third pick. Moving right along to Sunday night, Monday night games. Games I don't like betting on. Games I don't like choosing. However, last week they were the only two games I won, so I have no choice but to continue this, down this path. Now, many of you know, I'm a New Yorker. Got the Yankee logo up here. I'm a humongous, diehard New York Jets fan. Doesn't equate too much to the Giants. Giants are heading into Philadelphia with the hottest player in the NFL right now in Michael Vick. The guy's unbelievably had six touchdowns last week. I think he'll be able to, uh, not maybe not have six touchdowns, but I think he'll be able to exploit that New York Giants uh, defense. Um, I think he can exploit any defense at this point. Uh, and on top of that, the Giants are banged up. They got Steve Smith out. Kevin Boss is banged up. They just don't have the weapons, I think, to compete. And I think Vic will pull away. Eagles by three, take them at home to the New York Giants. And I think they're going to run away with that division. And they may only be the only team from that division to make the playoffs. Um... And then you move to Monday night, a game no one cared about. Little as a week ago. People want to see you know, people don't want to see San, San Diego go on that run and take the division. I think they will end up taking the AFC West. But in this particular game against the Denver Bronco team that has Kyle Wharton playing better than he ever has, no Sean Moreno, who's an absolute stud when healthy, and he seems to be again, and Team Tebow starting to, you know, jive with that offense a bit. Denver at ten point underdogs to San Diego, I'm not saying they're gonna win, but I think they'll play it tight to the best. You may also want to take the over on this game because I think it's going to be a complete shoot fest. Shootout. Sorry, shoot fest. Shoot fest. 
shootout. And I believe that in the end, uh, San Diego will win, but I don't think it's going to be by more than 10. I take the Broncos in this game at 10-point underdogs. So to recap, tonight's game, Bears at 1.5 dogs in Miami. Uh, then on Sunday, my three picks, Atlanta by three over St. Louis. The Ravens by 10 over the Panthers. And the... Um, sorry, the Packers by three over the Vikings with a heavy heart, though, because you know I do love Brett Favre. Sunday night's game, I take Michael Vick. Eagles by three over the Giants. Monday, I'm taking the Broncos at 10-point underdogs to the San Diego Chargers. Those are my picks. Next week, I'm going to be here twice for the Week 12 picks. I'm going to do a Thanksgiving edition. I'm also going to do a Sunday, and then I'm going to finish off the week with some more picks. It's going to be a bunch of stuff. Stay tuned. I might even do a recap of this week things we've learned. It's going to be a bunch of stuff, so keep logging in, keep tuning in. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash boxyenigma, B-O-X-I-E-Nigma. The I-E stands not for an example, but for the example. I'm out. I got to go. Deuces. Take care.